I'm Zac Efron from the new movie, Dr. Seuss's The Lorax. I play Ted, who's just your average young guy that lives in a town where nature doesn't exist. Everything is manufactured and fake. Ted, honey, don't play with your food. He's got a very cool Grammy. <laughs> you can be a little eccentric. Oh, that's right, I forgot. I'm old and can't even remember to put my teeth in. He rides this really cool monocycle. And like many boys his age, he does have one thing on his mind. What? No, it's not that cool monocycle. It's a girl named Audrey. He thinks she's the coolest, and he wants to do anything to impress her. What I want more than anything in the whole world is to see a real living tree. I'm just thinking out loud here. If a guy somehow got you one... Well, I'd probably marry him on the spot. So obviously, that starts Ted thinking about going green. Let's just say I need a tree. Where would I go? What do I do? Oh, then you know what? You'd need to find the Wansler. The, the what? The Wansler is the man who knows what happened to the trees. You want one, you need to find him. <coughs> and now he's on a mission to find a tree for Audrey. When he finally finds the Wansler... Who are you and what are you doing here? The old guy gives him a tough time. Why are you so interested in trees anyway? It's a girl, isn't it? Hey, she's not some girl. She's a woman. In high school, Ted is also threatened by this powerful mogul named O'Hare, who doesn't want anyone to learn about trees. Don't go poking around in things you don't understand, or I'll be your worst nightmare. I'm Frankenstein's head on a spider's body! So Ted has his work cut out for him. But you know, nothing's more powerful than a teenager with a crush. Believe me, I know. So he decides he's going to get that tree for Audrey. Ted. Ted. Huh? Ted, sir. You're kissing the cereal again, hon. What? I, I just, I like, I like this cereal. What one is this? Yeah. Dr. Seuss's The Lorax.